Hi everyone. So today we're going to do a short video uh, on what I use when I I want to start a fire in the woods. When I'm hunting, fishing, quadding, whatever, I want to start a fire in the woods. I made my own uh, fire starter. So what I use to do it, um, I use a clear kerosene. I'm sure you can buy a small bottle, smaller bottle than that. Anyway, clear kerosene. I use Vaseline and I use cotton ball. And uh, to make that, the only thing you need is a spoon and a lighter. And uh, I use a, a pills bottle. Then every time I get bo uh, pills for something, I just keep the bottle. So I got a few of that. It's very small, very light. I can have probably, I don't know, I would say eight to 10 fire starter in that. And uh, I just throw that in my backpack, in my quad. I always have some with me and uh, it starts very easily. When you start that, it burns for about two minutes, two minutes and a half. So you can put your little uh, twigs on it, little branches and start your fire and build it and build it. And uh, it starts very easy. So I'll show you how to do it in details. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is open my bottle and uh, take some uh, Vaseline. Now I need to be careful, don't put too much because it's going to spill all over the place. And uh, just like that, I melt it with the uh, lighter and the spoon. It takes some time when, when the spoon get, uh, get hot enough, it melts like nothing. So it's going to give me about three spoon of Vaseline or probably more two spoon. Rip some again. Oh, my lighter is hot. Woo. Sticking my finger. Nice. Lighter's too hot. I'll go get another one. All right. So I just finished to melt it. All right. So it's all melt. Put that in the bottle. Alright, so about I got about three eight quarter inch, three eight of an inch of melted Vaseline. So now I'm gonna mix the same quantity of uh, Vaseline with uh, kerosene. So about three eight of an eight give me about three quarter. Yep, yeah, three quarter. Good. Got a rag here, making a mess. <laughs> All right, so I got my stuff here. So now the only thing I got to do is take about, I don't know, five, six uh, cotton ball, put that in the liquid and soak it very well. So I got three, four, five, and you need to push that make sure all the uh, cotton ball get full of uh, of that juice not only on the top but need to be inside like soaked and wet see how it grip if I push it so I'm just push and mix and that's it so now, when you get in the wood, you just take that separate little bit like that and you can start your fire very easily and it burn about for two, two to three minutes I would say. I would say two minutes and a half, two to three minutes and it, it, it's going to burn non-stop. So see on that, in that little box right now, I couldn't make another five, I got five cotton balls. I couldn't make another five to fill that, that bottle. And like I said, it take no room, no weight. Put that in your backpack. It's a really good thing to start fire. 
Very easy. Take me, what, five minutes to make that? And I'm good for five fire. Five or six, I don't remember, I think it was five. So, uh, very easy to do. Just uh, be careful when you play with that. Now, another little trick that I don't use very often, but it could be, uh, could be help helpful if you uh, get stuck in the wood, then you don't have, your lighter is almost dead, and uh, you can use the tur turpine tine. Uh, I'm not sure about how to pronounce that word, but uh, it's like the gum, like the bubble of gum that you have on on a um, pine tree or, or any type of uh, evergreen tree like spruce or, or fir. So, uh, you know, those bubble, if you take that gum inside, it burn like, almost like kerosene. So you can put a little bit on a stick and start it and it's going to burn for a little bit. Or, uh, or you can get some on a piece of wood, like few bubble, and you start that and it's going to burn for a little bit. So, uh, so I hope you uh, like that little uh, video. It's not very long. It's just a little tricks that I use in the woods. And uh, if you like it, uh, just give me a thumbs up, a like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more video. Thank you.